gentlemen, thank you. I never would have imagined 31 years ago, the first time that I came to this building and faced that Capitol, that I would ever be standing here in 2009. I never would have imagined that I would have the chance in the course of my young life to speak for 670,000 people in the 7th District of Alabama. But God has blessed me. He's let me see a lot of wonders unfold in my time. And I've always clung to one central belief, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, along the way. I think the poet was wrong when he said that the past shall guide our steps and that we shall judge the future by that which has already happened. I think that's wrong. I think here in the state of Alabama, we don't have to have the past dictate our future. There was a time in this state, remember, we had never built a rocket. And now look at what we do in Huntsville, the Redstone. There was a time when we had never built a car in this state. And now what we do in Montgomery and Lincoln and Vance is the wonder of the world. And there was a time, 161 years ago, two days ago, when it would have been inconceivable that a man from Kenya and a woman from Kansas with Confederate roots might find each other and give birth to an American president, just as inconceivable as what I am about to try to do today. Ladies and gentlemen, because I believe in Alabama's future, I am proud to stand here and say that if God will guide my steps one more time, I intend to be the next governor of the state of Alabama. <laughs> I will not promise you that it will be easy in case you wonder and had any illusions. It will be hard. This change is always hard. But if you want to see something hard, ladies and gentlemen, you should have been in Wilcox County 24 hours ago. Because this time, 24 hours ago, between Camden and Pine Hill, when the last shift ended, 325 people learned that beginning at that moment, they no longer had a job. That's hard. If you think campaigning is hard, you could be a single mother as a school teacher in Tuscaloosa right now, who wonders if the next call you get from the principal to come to the office will be the principal telling you that you're one of the costs that's being cut and your job is gone. If you think campaigning is hard, try being a single mother who has a child who's ill who was counting on a free vaccination for that child and then finds out the state's program for vaccinations has been ended because of budget cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, Alabama desperately needs its next governor to be someone who knows the stories of those people. Alabama desperately needs its next governor to understand that this economic storm of a kind that we've never seen is ravaging lives. And Alabama's next governor needs to understand that he will have to make hard choices. But first and foremost, Alabama's next governor needs to be true to the decency and the spirit of this state. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of good people who will seek this office, and I have the pleasure of knowing most of them. One of us has a very good chance to be the governor who will be presiding over this state when we celebrate our bicentennial in 2019. I will submit to you that what we get to celebrate, who and what we are is being decided and being determined and will be decided and be determined over the next several elections beginning in 2010. Will we be a state in 2019 that is noted more for the quality of our schools and the creative approaches we bring to solving the problems of public education? Or will we be a state that is noted more for our dropouts, the young people we lose at every step along the way? Will it be a state that is known for the new constitution that we can craft, that has the values of a new century? Or will we be a state that continues to be known for the tricks that are devised to loot the public? Will we be a state, ladies and gentlemen, that is known for the bridges that we build between west and east and north and south 
because there's more than building a north-south highway. Sometimes you've got to build a bridge that connects our whole state in a figurative sense that ties all of us together across different lines. Ladies and gentlemen, it is all within our power. And yes, it will be hard. But God has blessed us to do that which is hard before. We have a chance to deliver in our time, not someday. People love to talk about someday. I'm talking about right now, what Alabama can be, beginning in 2010. If you believe in Alabama, if you believe in what we can do, welcome to a governor's race like none you've ever seen. That's Thank right. You. That's right. Yeah.